Welcome back everyone to the Today's Woman Show. It is the December issue and we are here reflecting with our 50th elected mayor, Greg Fisher. Uh, Greg, thank you so much for being here with us today. Now I want to dream with you just a little bit, right? It's Christmas time and what better time to dream. We wouldn't be um, having this conversation if it weren't for women, right? Today's woman is why we're In many here. ways. In a lot of ways. <laughs> you wouldn't even be here if That's it wasn't right. for a woman. Um, and so over the course of your term, there were a lot of strong women um, that you had in um, and around your administration. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about what it's like working with very strong women and how you helped really empower them to be involved in the process. Yeah, no, probably three quarters, 80% of my top staff have been women since 12 years ago. Uh, and I, I don't mean to stereotype, but what I have found here is, you know, women not only have the smarts and the drive to get it done, but their hearts are more open. Mm. And I think that's really important in a mayor's office, because I say a good mayor's office has the head of a chief executive officer, but the heart of a social worker. Mm. It's not like running a business. You gotta be efficient, and we've done that but there's people that need more resources than other people. Mm. So not everybody's treated equally. People are treated equitably. Mm. So we've had an amazing run of strong uh, leaders through my office, and, and I'll start with the Deputy Mayor, Ellen Hessen, mm -hmm. who was there from day one and will be there to the very last day. And she's ably led the city through some triumph and some tragedy as well. But when you go down the list from Katie Dalinger, we've had a U.S. Congresswoman and Haley Stevens from Michigan, Laquandra Nesbitt, who's Director of Public Health in Washington, D.C., Sadiqa Reynolds was on my original team as well, uh, Mary Ellen Wiederwall, uh, Teresa Reno Weber. These are women and many more of them, and I'm going to be in trouble because I left some out. Think about Nicole Yates as well, who've gone on to lead big organizations, not just in the city, but around the country. And they've taken with them many times the business systems that we've used inside of Metro government that I bought from my business career that have allowed us to achieve what I think is high performance and has been recognized by What Works Cities, the national budgeting uh, groups, et cetera. So we've had to run the city, Tawana, with 1,200 fewer employees than when we started 12 years ago because of the increase in pension obligations that have been mandated upon us on the state. So that's been a challenge, but we've gotten through it. And you know who's gotten through us most of it with leadership? Women. Mm -hmm. How did you support their professional development and growth under your leadership? Well, one, whether they were women or not, I mean, it was kind of the business system that we developed, which again, I brought for me from my private sector work. So how do you create high performance teams? And you know, there's a strategy behind that in terms of values and mission, how you architect the organization. And I noticed when they leave, they usually take that with them because it allows greater efficiency and a greater productivity. Mm -hmm. But then flexibility is a major issue uh, for women, certainly more than men in my view, because most women have the child rearing responsibility whether we like it or not it's still that way so you have to make sure that they have the flexibility to get work done and so that also helped us then translate that into increased benefits for women within metro government and throughout the city as well Our, when the pandemic came along and you think about single moms leading households looking at eviction we weren't allow gonna allow that to happen. Mm. We deployed $95 million for eviction prevention and the White House recognized us as the very best in the country in getting that out. Oh, wow. No. When you think about our Healthy Babies Initiative, this is where, you know, the most important thing is, you know, the, the time before you're uh, birthing a child, the first six months after that, do you know how to pull it all together so you're healthy, and if you're healthy, your baby's gonna be healthy. The healthy baby results are better for the women that are in that, typically low-income women, under-resourced women, their maternal results are better than women out in the East End, the more affluent part of Louisville. So you can put programs in place like that to help the women. I do want to ask one more question before we wrap. Uh, it's a time for reflection. If there is anything that you could do over, over these past 12 years, what would you do over? Uh, from a personal standpoint, one of the most beautiful things about being mayor is that everybody feels like you're their neighbor. Mm -hmm. And so no matter where you go, you know, you hear, hey, mayor, or, hey, Greg, we've got a big city. It's 400 square miles and 800,000 people. So 
as much as I've worked and I'm known as kind of the people's mayor because I'm everywhere, I just, I'm sorry I couldn't get everywhere all the time. And I, I just, I miss that connection with people because they, t they share their dreams with you, they share their challenges with you. And I think a big part of a, being a mayor is understanding what those are in the city so we can come back with solutions that can ultimately achieve what I ran for office for and that was to see the city as a platform for human potential to flourish and that's what we called compassion. Well I'll tell you what I mean you can only be so many places <laughs> at once. I will say uh, to add to what you mentioned I'll never forget the time my son was in a library and I get a text message from you with a picture of you two. You had never met him. And so I can appreciate your desire to want to continue to give that because my son was over the moon to be able to send yeah. me a picture yeah. with him and this celebrity that he, you oh, know, yeah. considered a mayor. So, um, Greg, happy holidays to you and your family. Um, you are setting off and able to truly now embrace and enjoy uh, the most important people in your life and that is your wife and, and your kids and your grandkids and so again we thank you so very much for taking the time to have this conversation and we wish you the best of luck in the next chapter well, thank you and congratulations on your entrepreneurship and the big heart that you show for our city thank you thank you thank you all right everyone we are wrapping up with the mayor and we will be back in just a moment we've got a treat continue on with us Giddy up, jingle, I speak. Speak up your feet and jingle.